Hello, I finally got a chance to uh, mess around just a little bit with pistons tonight, so I uh, tried this concept with a, is a uh, patterned lava fall. And as you can see, when you have the constant lava already, it doesn't work. So I use a lever here as a uh, manual shutdown for all lava falling. And here we'll see it start from scratch. And right now it's inconsistent, but I threw this together really quickly with some really simple circuitry and um, still need to do a good bit of testing to figure out what is ideal as far as timing. Uh, but this, I think it'd be a really cool way uh, to decorate the sides of your building. Plus it actually does work uh, effectively for setting enemies on fire such as spiders trying to climb up your wall. Um, let me go to sleep to uh, show you in daylight how the circuitry works. There's my sensor building. I'll be a bit delayed on that because uh, there are a lot of things going on for me right now. Um, and uh, it's not too far from completion, um, but I just don't want to be keeping that promise for um, getting that done in the next week. So I'll show you this in the meantime. Alright, let's set this again. And as this is running... Alright, this button here sends a signal. And this is just to start a pattern, a um, versus a normal clock, which turns on and off, and basically has almost the same amount of time on as it does off. But switching between the two, by starting with a button here, and doing a loop of repeaters there, it's just on for a short period of time, which is ideal, because we just need it short enough to uh, clap down on that lava and stop its flow just after it's... Uh, gotten past that first block there. So that's it, but this is a really rough sketch of the overall idea. I'll be showing you plenty of more in the future regarding pistons and even other ideas.